Hey, welcome back. Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. Let's take a look at what we got for a wood stove. Got the stove at Tractor Supply. It's from United States Stove Company. It's US Stove 900 square foot wood stove. US 1269E. It was on sale for $299. Packaged really well. Heavy duty cardboard box. Uh, plywood bottom on the box form fitting heavy duty styrofoam that it sits right down into wrapped in plastic wrapped in styrofoam also uh, a top fitting styrofoam piece another wood panel for the top of the box and all four corners were reinforced with this heavy duty cardboard corner stuff so i doubt if there's any damage on this stove but we're going to see as i unpackage it Oh, it's packaged in a plastic bag. Okay. It's got a serial number. Nice little fire emblem here. Pull some parts out. like taking the guts out of a turkey here just keep reaching in well got all the parts unwrapped they're all laying out here now we're going to open up this manual make sure these are all the parts make sure there's nothing missing i've checked them all over there's no cracks there's no breaks or anything on these no bends in the metal no cracks in the cast everything looks good but i'm going to make sure all the parts are here Got a limited warranty on it. Oh, it looks like it's basically one year. Supposed to have a hearth. There's the hearth. Bottom channel. That goes on the bottom of the stove. Flu collar. That's there. Four legs. Handle assembly, that's right there. And a door assembly. And it's supposed to have a package of the hardware. I'm glad they're packaging the hardware like this. Some of this stuff from China is like thrown into plastic bags, they get broke open and you lose parts and you end up running to the hardware store to replace them. But these are all in that plastic. You know that plastic that cuts you when you try to open it? So at least they're packaged well, they're not gonna fall out of there. Got all the parts to the stove out here up on the hearth. I got it flipped over onto its top and we're gonna go ahead and start assembling this thing. It comes with two little um, Allen wrenches, Allen keys. And we're going to attach that with four of these little bolts. Well, so far so good. Everything like threaded well. And that stays a little loose like that, obviously, because you can't tighten them any farther. Next thing. Put the hearth on. And the hearth just sits on like that. I jiggle the hearth a little bit here to center the holes. It's clearances, it's all about the clearances, how you install the stove. Next, attach the front legs to the hearth. 
And I imagine these are the front leg screws here. And I'm supposed to be using the screws and the nuts. Now they're showing a washer there, but there's no washers, just this screws and nuts here. So the screw goes in from this side. The leg sits on. Make sure the nylon bushing is facing up. Let's make sure it's seated in there correctly. That looks good right there. Okay. I think I'd be very careful torquing them down. Don't want to crack that cast iron. I'm going to go ahead and put the other three legs on and I'll be back with you when that's done. Okay, we got the four legs on. I flipped the stove back over onto its legs. Now we're going to go ahead and put the flue collar on. That goes right there. Wrenches they give you here aren't that handy. They're not tall enough to clear the top of the collar, so you can't just spin them. Okay, now we move on to the door. Now the door just has two pins. It sits on there like that. Now, some of the reviews I read about this stove, this is where it falls short, is if the casting isn't perfect on this door, it doesn't seat well. Sometimes there, it seems like they get twisted or the maybe the hinges are a little bit off. But this looks really good right there if you see the line right across the top. That looks really good. It's one of the downfalls of putting these stoves together at home not buying them assembled is you don't know if it's going to be good until you get it home and assemble it and if you bought them off the floor assembled you know the store's already done it so they already know if there's problems but this one doesn't have any problems so far different looking stove inside to meet epa requirements that's another Problem people say they have with the stove. I just don't think they install them correctly and use them correctly. But we're going to see. We're going to get our chimney in after this. And we're going to see if this thing uh, burns. Burns well. Put my handle on there. So I'm this way. Oh, that's latched right there. That looks. That's pretty good. Take your handle. Put it back in there. Oh yeah, she's latched really well. I mean, it's a cute little stove. Hope it burns well. I got two sections of the black stove pipe, six inch. One here that almost takes me up to the top. Then I got an adjustable piece here that telescopes down inside. That piece is about that long down inside right now.
Okay, we're closing it up, letting the fire die down a little bit. So let's do this three different times. Two at low temperatures and one at a higher temperature. Okay, we're starting to open the windows. That paint is still burning off. We close the door up, cool it off a little bit. Everything looks good though. Start recording. We're gonna open the door slowly. No smokes entering the room. So the draft is really good. Well, I think that was a successful first burn. Thanks for coming along on the video. Really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.